Hi and welcome. I have another great salad dressing for you today and this one has a little bit of a sweet touch to it so I think you're going to like it. It is a date vinaigrette or you could use fig if you wanted to but we're going to use dates because that's what I had. So we're going to start with a clove of garlic and all I'm going to do is just get the peel off of it. I'm using my Vitamix. You can use any kind of blender, a magic bullet, or you could just chop everything really fine and mix it up in a bowl. You don't even have to have a blender. But I'm just going to drop my garlic in there. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Or you could use white wine vinegar, either one for this. So a quarter cup. Let's pour it in. All right. Next, we're going to add in um, some a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, which is one of my absolute all-time favorites. Love balsamic vinegar on just about anything. So another quarter cup of that. And it is so deliciously sweet on its own. All right, next we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm going to get all that yummy Dijon out. All right, then we're going to use a quarter cup of dried pitted dates. These have already been pitted, so make sure you do um, either buy the pitted ones or pit them yourself. Throw those in. Now we're going to do a half a cup of olive oil. And I'm using a lighter tasting olive oil here. You could use extra virgin if you'd like. A half a cup. And we're going to throw that in. All right, and now for our spices. We're using some dried thyme. You could use fresh thyme if you want to. And you know, if you wonder on some of my videos why I have my spices in bags, it's because my husband and I travel a lot and um, I don't have to buy spices while I'm out. And when we travel, we go someplace and we stay for several weeks or months at a time. So I put all my spices in spice bags and I'll show you, I'm gonna do a, a video of the kitchen items that I like to carry with me and when I do that I will show you my spice box. It is kind of neat. I think you'll like it. Alright, so we're going to use, since we're using the dried thyme, we're going to use about a half a teaspoon and since I have Dijon mustard on that teaspoon, let's grab another one out. And if you were using fresh thyme, I'd probably use about two tablespoons of fresh thyme. All right, and now a little salt and pepper, and of course that's to taste. Um, maybe about a quarter to a half a teaspoon. You can always add more if you need to. And then a little dash of pepper. All right, and let's get our lid on. Move this out of the way and move my Vitamix over. And like I said, you don't have to use a, um, a Vitamix. You can just use a regular blender or food processor. Or if you want to chop everything up really, really fine, um, then you can just mix it and kind of have more of a chunkier um, dressing just in a bowl. So we are going to get this started. there we go. That's how quick it is. Let's grab a bowl out and pour it so we can see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it smells fantastic. All right. 
right, so we've got a beautiful, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, just the right amount of sweetness from the dates, but a great mix of the acids between the balsamic vinegar and the red wine vinegar. This is absolutely delicious. It's beautiful. You could use it um, for a nice dinner party and people would be very impressed. And it is good whole foods, great for paleo, great for whole 30, no extra added sweeteners, and you can have a little bit of date, so it's perfect for the Whole30. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy this one, so give it a try.